You know what I like to do after a long drive? I like to look at some baseball cards. So I want to look at some more random cards with you now. Let's start off with a card I had since my youth, and that's my Ricky Henderson rookie card. Got it graded. It was one of the first ones I ever got graded in the early 2000s when I pulled my cards out of storage. I actually had nine of them, and I sold all the others, which I had mentioned on a previous video I regret. Wouldn't mind having all nine. <laughs> we have Earl the Pearl. Love vintage basketball cards. Wayne Gretzky second year card. Great card. Got a 75 Dwight White. Classic pose. And you know, you guys know that I'm a collector. I don't really care that much about value other than, um, you know, I want to know I'm getting a fair price when I buy something. And uh, it'd be nice to get something when I sell it, of course. But um, as a collector, i got to show you one of my favorite all-time cards. And you might not believe it, but this Bo Jackson, 87 tops. I know a lot of people knock the 87 top set, but I love them. I really wish, you know, they weren't so overproduced and they had some value because there are some great cards in here. This is literally one of my favorite all-time cards. Love that card. Here we have a Jack Nicholas. What is that, the 81 Fleer? They made these in 81 and 82. Is that right? Yeah. And here's the stat leader. Here's a Y.A. Tittle. And here's one of the greatest leader cards ever produced because, you know, it's the home run leaders card from 62 that features, at the time, the new single season home run champ and the guy who was chasing him, Mickey Mantle. Just a great card to have in your collection. Here's a really nice Willis Reed. It's a Don Maynard. It's another card from my youth, one that I had growing up, and sent it in for grading at the same time I sent that Ricky Henderson, and that's my Eddie Murray rookie. I also have the Opeachy version of this. I think it's the same grade. And man, I loved me some Kellen Winslow. Man, I remember watching him in the playoffs growing up. And San Diego didn't have a defense, but man, they had a phenomenal offense. Chuck Muncie, Dan Fouts, Charlie Joyner, Johnny Jefferson. I think they had, uh, didn't they have James Lofton at one point as well, I believe. Anyway, they were just a powerhouse. And, uh, Man, but they didn't have a defense, and, and they would score so many points and lose the games. If they had any kind of defense back then, they would have probably gone to several Super Bowls. But I remember he would go back to the huddle limping, his shirt out, look like he was hurt or couldn't walk another, you know, another step, and then they'd go right back to him, and he'd catch another pass. And he'd go limping back with that shirt out, looking all hurt <laughs> and man they just kept going to him and going to him i think that was that miami game where they did if many of you probably remember they did that um what do they call that where they were running down and they flipped it uh to the other guy who ran down and scored a touchdown and miami beat him um man what a game that was that was a classic and i was a huge moses malone fan so i have his rookie card here um, you know, I grew up in Pittsburgh. We didn't have a basketball team after the ABA, and the, that was before my time. But um, they used to come through Pittsburgh, and they do an all-star tournament. 
And back in like the 60s, early 70s, I guess uh, Duquesne had a really good basketball team, which was a Catholic college in Pittsburgh. And Norm Nixon actually came out of there. Anyway, they'd come through and they would have an all-star game and uh, Dr. J was there. I went to, uh, my um, grandparents took me to see a game. And uh, yeah, Dr. J, Moses Malone, Norm Nixon. And so I got to watch them live when I was a little kid. And that was the only um, live basketball game I ever watched until I got older and went to a playoff game in Detroit. I mean, I went to a playoff game. That, that, that game I went to in Detroit, we were up there for work, and, and one of my coworkers scored some tickets, and we went, and it was uh, Philadelphia. Was playing, they were playing Philadelphia. And I was a bit of an Iserman fan. You know, I wanted to watch him put up some points. Man, they held him to seven points. It was like the worst game he ever played. Couldn't believe it. Anyway, uh, here's a Raymond Berry autograph card. And, you know, I, I just recently got the um, new Sports Illustrated for Kids. And I had it sitting around probably for a couple of weeks. And so today I decided I'm going to take the cards out, you know. And look who I got. The national champion. This uh, month's issue is pretty loaded. It's got who was just named the NFL Rookie of the Year. Has the LPGA um, Player of the Year. As a guy that was named, uh, I guess, the um, not the most valuable player, but what do they call that? He was the top player in a, a College World Series. And we got one of the best soccer players in the world. And a Trey Young. And this guy, I guess they brought him in to help Connor McDavid. So the Sports Illustrated for Kids, this, ep this issue is uh, loaded. So, hey, once again, thanks for watching. Man, I just love to look at cards.